Hey guys, what's up? It's Pseudo Pluto here, and I just wanted to show you guys how to enable uh, hardware video decoding uh, on Firefox on Wayland. Uh, uh, Firefox, I believe 104 was released. Help about Firefox. Uh, sorry, yeah, 101, yeah. And that enables, um, by default, hardware video decoding using VA API on Intel and AMD. So I'll show you how to enable it on uh, those platforms, and then I'll also show you how to enable it on NVIDIA platforms as well. Um, so I just used the, the Arch Wiki um, to do this. Uh, make sure that you have VA API working. Easy way to do this is to make sure that VA info works. As you can see, I have VA info working. Um, and then you just go through all these steps. Um, this is changing a lot, so um, I would just follow this link, I'll put it in the description, and you just enable the flags that give you the settings. Um, I did a while ago, I think all I need to do, all I need to do for Wayland and Firefox was this one, um, along with some other ones that I needed to do for the NVIDIA wrapper. Um, and a quick way to test to see if it's working is about support. And basically here, um, you'll be able to go into the GPU section and you'll see this part. Uh, VA API, available by default, um, force enabled by preferences, um, block listed by environment. So um, this is because of uh, uh, NVIDIA not being officially supported, but I force enabled it um, in about config uh, using that flag that I showed you earlier. Um, Media, FFmpeg, VNIP, um, I did this. Um, I forced that to be true. Um, but if you have Intel or AMD, this should be available by default and turned on in Firefox 101. Um, and another way to test basically is um, using this and NVIDIA SMI. Okay, as you can see, uh, we have some processes running here. Uh, we have Steam, GNOME Shell, Firefox, OBS. Um, but what we want to do is we want to um, see it working uh, with a video. So we go into YouTube and uh, let's do a uh, Simon video. So um, as you can see, there's only one Firefox process. Let me mute that. Um, and if we go into that, yeah, so that's muted. Uh, what we should see now is we should see another Firefox process and the GPU memory go up. Um, so right now it's like 1336-ish. And right now we have two Firefox processes um, and the memory usage has gone up. And um, we'll see the GPU utilization go up as well. Um, so that's how you can verify that it's actually working. Um, for Intel platforms, you can use, let me pause this, um, something called Intel GPU top, um, as you can see here, and you should basically see um, the the media engine go up um, when you're running a video in Firefox on YouTube or something. Um, an, an important point to make is that um, depending on your hardware, um, right now this is running VP9, which is hardware accelerated, but um, often some videos are encoded using AV1, uh, which wouldn't have hardware acceleration. Uh, depending on what um, hardware you have. So, um, as you can see, enabling in Firefox is pretty easy, especially if you're on Intel and stuff. Um, just follow this, this guide here, I'll link it as well, um, for Intel and AMD. Um, you just install the packages, um, whatever um, your distro's equivalent is compared to the Arch one. The, the, the gist is, is that you want to be able to run via info and have stuff come out. If you can do that, then you're all set. Um, but for NVIDIA, um, NVIDIA does not play nice, uh, but luckily uh, El Fardo has released a translation layer that's also linked in the Arch Wiki um, here. And so what I did was I just installed it. Um, this uh, guide is pretty good. Um, so you just need to install this library. Uh, for example, on Fedora, what that looks like is this package. Um, bad. So 
uh, GStreamer plugins bad devil. So you just want basically the headers because you're compiling it. Um, so what I did was I downloaded um, the latest release, which you can get from GitHub here. You go to releases, you just download the source, uh, install that library, set up, install, right? And then um, you have to set um, these settings here. Um, I did these two, uh, VA, VA API enabled equals true and RDD FFmpeg enabled equals true. Um, these two I don't believe you need. And then you have to set these environment um, variables. Um, and the easiest way to set those environment variables is um, dash rc. So here I did um, EGL platform Wayland, disable RDD sandbox one and Olivia driver name in video. And then what you want to do is basically you want to source that. Right. And um, you just relaunch Firefox and it should be working with NVIDIA. Um, I'm really excited. Uh, my laptop is um, Intel only. So um, I was using hardware um, acceleration for a while just to save my battery because I watch a bit of YouTube. Um, but even for desktop, you should enable it. Um, uh, just because you know you're, you're actually using your GPU instead of burning your CPU cycles for no reason. Hopefully you found this useful. And yeah, <laughs> just want to say um, congratulations to everybody. It's been a long time coming for getting, you know, a web browser uh, with uh, hardware acceleration working. Um, it, it, it's been a number of years and I, I remember, um, at least on my laptop, doing like all the early flags and stuff because I wanted to say my, my battery life as long as possible. And now with this latest update, you know, everybody gets plugged it in um, by default as long as they have the, um, the the packages installed, which I believe for Fedora and Ubuntu, they're already installed by default, uh, the Intel and AMD VA API libraries. So yeah, I'm really excited about this and hopefully you found this useful, um, especially for my NVIDIA people. And yeah, pseudo Pluto out. Oh yeah, I just wanted to um, append a quick note um, that I kind of skipped over. Um, as shown for the video people, uh, you need to have um, this enabled. Um, so I, I, would, I would Google it for your distribution. I'll do an example for um, Fedora here. If you want to grub, um, it should be here on etc default grub. Uh, let's see if I remember the password. And then as you can see here, we have a DRM mod set equals one. Um, so that's basically what you want to add to the scrub command line Linux. And then once you edit that, what you want to do is you want to regenerate in your um, inner RAM. So do this and do this. Um, and yeah, you'll be all set.